Welcome back. Everyone wants a few quick weight loss tips, right? It is the tip Right? Off. Our next guest has uh, some to you, you could try on this morning. That's right. Dr. <laughs> Mehmet Oz, seen there, talking to Richard Simmons, is celebrating his 100th show tomorrow. The doctor is in answering our questions about weight loss. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's great to have you live in the studio. Last time you were here, you brought something and you kept it underneath a blue <laughs> thing like that. It We've looks seen like you your show. We know what's about there. to happen <laughs> That's here. Right. Well, let's start off with the basic thing. By the, our 100th show is all about getting diet tips. Okay. Right? So tomorrow, and the reason we got these tips is people who lost a lot of weight and everyone lost 100 pounds wow. we know how to do it. So we start off with a very basic idea of how important is the waist size. And the waist size is oh, important my because God. This, is this is the omentum. Now that's about the size of your omentum. Hold it like that. What is what? your omentum? Yes. The omentum is what's underneath your waistline. That's why we measure your belly fat and we want to make this sure... Is, this this is real? That's real. Squeeze That's a pot oh, belly. Yeah. Let me show you. If you've got two extra inches, so the average female should have about a 32 and a half inch waist. Average guy, 35 inch waist. Okay. But if you've got two inches extra. Two. Oh, oh my God. God. You've no. got this. Oh, oh. Come over here, Steve. Come over here. Hold it. No. Come on now. Oh Come on. Peter, you want to help a little bit? Now, oh do you know, compare, compare these. Compare I can't hold, hold my own. I can't hold my own. So just, I, I want to be very visual. Normal waist size, wow. two inches Look extra. Oh, and if you're four inches extra, six inches. You God. just double this, quadruple this. Oh, oh my God. Where do you get difference? something like this? Now the, take it out of sight. These come from cadavers. Oh, my God. And the reason that we feel so passionately about explaining this to people, I'm going to put this over here, yeah. is that I don't want you to take your gloves off. Okay. Uh, I don't want folks walking around thinking, hey, belly fat's just this little thing. That if I could deal with it, it'd be fine. So I want everyone to take a uh, take yeah. measure. Okay. Right? No, Put it no, around no, your waist. no, 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 yes, no, yes, yes. no, 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 I take the fifth, I'm not okay. doing it, look at size. doctor, I've got a 20 inch waist, oh, that's, no, that's God impressive, God's sake. a 33 no, no. and a half inch waist, oh, nice, now, here's Steve, you want your height, oh, no. height, to be twice your waist and no more, so if you're, okay. how tall are you? Uh, six, I used to be six one, but Perfect. I'm okay. shrinking, okay. six feet, let's say six feet, six times 12, 72 inches, half of that's 36 inches, so your waist size has to be lower than that, so I'm at 33, I'm 300, exactly, now I was in Dallas at at All-Star Games, so I was doing some television uh, on FAA, and they call it the Dunlap. And I said, what does that mean? Said, because the fat Dunlap over my belt. <laughs> <laughs> you can, guys, never buy a new belt. You actually have to w take your belt size and right. get rid of it, because guys wear their waist belt yeah. right on here, and the fat, you know, they wander around, like yep. just wander, waddle around. All right. You can actually measure it. Now, Dr. Oz, you've got some tips. First off, you say that you should start your morning with oatmeal. Oatmeal without question. And this is going Because it's like, filling? Well, it's filling, but it gets you started off in the right rhythm. If you have oatmeal, blueberries, nuts, these are wonderful foods because they satiate you, and the fiber actually it releases the sugar very slowly into your bloodstream, so you don't create the metabolic headaches that so often occur. Speaking of metabolism, green tea, wonderful tool to add instead of coffee once in a while. It's got a quarter of the caffeine in coffee, but it's young tea. That's why it's green, has an oxidized, gives you lots of those polyphenols that you know will stimulate your metabolism. Mm -hmm. Wonderful tool to use as a weight loss, and plus you don't add cream and sugar to green tea. Right. The way you would with coffee, you avoid that headache. There's if caffeine, have, though. Yeah. Caffeine and green tea? There is caffeine. It's about okay. a quarter of the caffeine. Okay. But if you have to put a little something in there, could you put some honey in it? or Honey, agave. Okay. You can use lots of things. Pepper? Peppers, I love. <laughs> I threw this all pepper over my pizza last night. This no. is one of the big secrets, I tell you. Do? Capsaicin from the Capsaicin. red peppers, it, uh, it actually reduces your appetite at the next meal. So if you have a spicy breakfast, but add these to your eggs, for example, okay. in the morning, then for lunch, you actually, on average, eat less. Big secret folks don't realize, when we were growing up, we had this size plate. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a 9-inch plate, right? The tape plates now were 11 inches. And we just want more, more, more. We've supersized we? our well, yeah. plate. This is almost twice as much food as this. And one final thing, the brain has four satiety centers. They are satiety centers and desires for water, for food, for sex, mm. and for sleep. He's looking at the sleep, the sex to come in. So, I was thinking so, about the sleep. So, so if you don't have enough of one of the other ones, you're going to create more food. You don't get enough sleep, for example, which you often do, don't do on the show. That's right. You're going to create carbohydrates. And by the way, being intimate with the people you love is a great way of skipping a meal. Uh, well, let's all go have sex Wonderful. right now. We love his advice, so we? Dr. Oz. <laughs> all right, Dr. Oz. Great pleasure. Thank you, Thank you Congratulations on your show, by nice the way. Honored that was great a, show. Thank you. That's a fantastic show. You're very You're nice. working with a lot of people I used to work with, too, so that's why. It's thank great you. stuff. Thank you very much. For all right.